Hello, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. I am on the road traveling and as you can see, this room that I'm staying in is very attic-like. It's very attic-like and it's a little bit creepy, so hopefully it's not haunted. I was here last night, I didn't see any ghosties, <laughs> so hopefully it's the same tonight. But let's talk about the border. Holy cow, just when we thought we hit record numbers, it seems like every day that passes, we hit the record from the day before. So yesterday, Monday, December 18th, was another record-breaking day. You had 12,600 encounters. Now that's encounters, that's apprehensions, that's not the gotaways, that's also not the people waiting to be processed because there are still people waiting to be processed. That's what happens when you have so many. So clearly that number, although gives us somewhat of an idea who exactly is coming over our border, we actually don't know. That number is probably a lot higher. Not to mention, I don't know if anyone saw, there was, I did not attend, there was a huge Republican convention or tur turning point USA convention, uh, America Fest, that was happening over the weekend in Phoenix, Arizona. One of the people that attended, she is a political commentator. I don't know much about her other than I see her name here and there, but her name is Ashley St. Clair. And I saw on Twitter some photos. So she was traveling back to New York City from Phoenix. I believe she had a red eye flight and she was shocked when she got to the Delta counter to board her plane because there was a long line of illegal immigrants getting on her plane. Now they weren't just on her commercial Delta flight. A lot of them had premium seats. Uh, when Ashley, by the way, this is all on her Twitter, when she went to talk to one of the desk agents, she said, hey, are these illegal immigrants that are on this, this Delta flight? Uh, the person looked at her and said, they're people too, and proceeded <clears throat> to follow her. And I point that out for several reasons. One, you know, we just found out about a month ago that our air marshals aren't doing what we thought they were doing, you know, sitting on flights, flying across the United States, making sure everything's safe, making sure it's fine. This headline or this came out on Fox News. No, they're actually not doing that anymore. They're flying around following MAGA grandmas, people that happen to be not even necessarily at the protest, but people that happen to be in Washington, D.C., on January 6th, those are the people that they're following around. So not only do you have this big, uh, this big health risk by having people who are not properly screened in our airports, on our flights, obviously in enclosed spaces, now you have a big security risk. What kind of IDs do they have? How did they get through security? Where do they come from? Why are they here? Where are they going? Uh, not to mention, you don't have our air, air marshals who are on usual duties. They're out there following MAGA grandmas. So now you have this major security breach within our country when our alerts are heightened and it's just being okay. Not only that, your taxpayer dollars uh, are being used to pay for premium seats or are they? I don't know. We haven't heard back from Delta yet, but I will let you know as soon as Delta responds or if they say anything. But just so you know, imagine going to the airport, getting on your commercial flight, your premium seat that you probably earned points to pay for, or you spent your hard earned money to pay for only to see that your flight is filled with illegal immigrants. Now, how do you know that they're illegal immigrants? Well, they all will have these same folders, these same packets for them. And typically they will fly them overnight, which is what uh, this political commentator, Ashley, which is what she encountered and why she was able to see it and expose it. So this is happening. And not only is every single day breaking our records, but every week, every month in the past, this past month, um, as of December 17th, you had over 160,000 encounters at the border already, which is putting it on track to break the record of November. And November broke the record of October. October broke the record. You see where we're going here? And these are the highest numbers that were ever on recorded history. So we don't know the full effects of this yet. But what we do know, look at what happened over the weekend. So there have been major talks in Congress about border security, obviously, because we're seeing unprecedented numbers and it's not slowing down it in fact is increasing well you had Democrat Congress people 
going on a press tour saying that the people that want the border closed are MAGA Republicans, they're far-right extremists, not just everyday Americans who simply want border security. If you don't have a border, you have no country and people are being mass released into our country. And some of these individuals, when they're arriving to these cities, they haven't eaten in two or three days. Um, and not all of them are going to cities. Some of them are just being released into the interior of the United States with court dates in years from now. So you think they're gonna show up to court years from now? And even if they do, they've already been in our country on the taxpayer dime for years. Who knows what they're gonna do, uh, where they're gonna go or how they're gonna work. In Chicago, a really tragic story. Over the past few days, we, find, we found out that a five-year-old in a migrant facility has passed away. Uh, this kid was sick and was not able to get medical treatment. Uh, this facility is in Chicago. So these types of things, unfortunately, are probably going to be happening more and more and more as more people come over our borders, overwhelm these cities, overwhelm these shelters, overwhelm services, and are living in not good conditions. I actually follow another journalist who went out to this migrant facility where the five-year-old passed away and outside of the whole thing is just nothing but trash. This is not a way that people should be living. And what blows my mind, I just wanna share one more thought with you. What blows my mind more than anything is, not more than anything, actually all of this blows my mind, but what also blows my mind is that all of the people advocating for this, the open borders advocates, the, the Democrats who have been hijacked by radical advocates within their own party. And by the way, some of these Democrats actually admitted on television, if Joe Biden starts to secure the border, if he changes his stance on security, um, on security measures at the border at this point in time, there's going to be a part of his base that is furious with him. So that just tells you everything you need to know about the fact that they have been hijacked by radical leftists. So that's how you have it. But this is the point that I was making just a second ago. What blows my mind about all of these advocates for open borders is you live in this country too. Your children live in this country. Your parents live in this country. Your nieces, your nephews, your aunts, your uncles, your friends, your loved ones, your children all live in this country. What is this country going to look like in a few years? And what are you going to tell them when they look around and they, they see, wow, this country, it seemed really different when you grew up. It seemed like it used to be a different place. What happened? And you're going to have to tell them what happened. Is it worth the votes? Uh, is destroying one of the greatest countries or the greatest country in the entire world, is it worth the votes? Is it worth to stay in power? Well, the only thing that is going to change this is if everyday regular Americans wake up and realize what is happening. So hopefully you talk to your friends, you talk to your neighbors about what's actually happening at the border. Because what I've found too is a lot of people, their heads are in the sand. They don't have any idea what's actually going on or they're in denial about what's happening. They don't want to know. Well, they're gonna have to know because whether they like it or not, whether you or I like it or not, doesn't matter how rich, how poor, what area of the country you live in, this is going to touch and affect every single one of us. And the time that we can turn around is right now, hopefully. So thank you for watching. Those are just, just my thoughts on what was happening on the border over the weekend. Hopefully you have a lovely day and I'll see you